advice to tell me something that you were made fun of for when you were growing up, but now is a trend? Being black, big lips, do-rags, grills, baggy, saggy clothes, long acrylic nails, big hoop earrings, really colorful clothing, edges, box braids, cornrows, any type of hair extension, wearing wigs, especially if they're colorful, twerking, because not everybody want their thing to be thing, and the way we talk, ooh, child, per chile, don't even be saying that you're right or using it in the proper context. And circling back to the beginning, being a black woman, because everything we do is deemed as ghetto, and we're the butt of all the jokes, but if another race does it, it's trendy. And let's not forget being oppressed, because not everybody in their mama want to be a part of a Oppression. Oppression's not fun. Just to let you know. Did I forget anything? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video from your favorite girl. Public announcement, everyone. Stop benefiting off of black girl magic. Give us our props. Why hate on chocolate women but take our traits and benefit off of black girl magic? Let me start with Kanye West, okay? Kanye West, who now wants his kids all of a sudden to know their blackness. Mm-hmm. He has recently hired two black nannies since the split with Kim Kardashian, in which I don't find strange, by the way. It's common for most celebrity kids to have nannies. But then I thought about it, how Kanye West said that he did not want his kids to know their blackness. And amongst other disgusting things about black people, Kanye West idolizes women of no color. But then he go and hire black women to raise his kids. It reminds me me of slavery when the slave had to breastfeed and raise the white child from birth and the child grows up and whip and spits on the black person that raised them. I can't understand how he surrounds himself with white folks every day and worship white supremacists but uses black women's motherhood to help raise his kids. But why Kanye don't teach his kids black culture himself? Or where is Kanye's black family? I have never seen his kids take a picture with his black family, but Kanye has a habit of using black people, for example, his church, okay, his church choir, he uses black voices and their melodies to build his church. He knows that black people love God and it will draw them in. But I have never seen Kanye West hang around any black people for a long time until he had gotten his church. Kanye is like Terry Crews. We don't want you back, okay? Stay on that side. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for Kanye or Dr. Dre during their divorce. Get them, ladies. Take it all. <laughs> the Kardashians are number one examples of a copying ass bitch, okay, who wants that black girl magic. They want our black DNA. They want our body shape, our cheekbones, lips, hips. They wear a lot of weaves, clip-ons, wigs, and the long nails. And they even will date a man on crack and stank breath just to be down with the swirl. I remember a clip on the Kardashian show where Kylie said she has never had a cute boyfriend. And I was shocked because she was dating Travis Scott at the time. So why date him? Because he's black? But anyhow, I don't have a problem with these minions wanting to imitate black trend and culture. I have a problem with people not giving black women our props. White people get to wear the cornrows, braids, dreadlocks, and it's okay. But if a black girl wears these styles, they're seen as ready to fight and is ghetto. The double standards is wrong. They associate us with aggressiveness and ghetto, but yet they want to be a part of it. Give black people the recognition we deserve. Deserve. Remember this, okay? A clone will always malfunction. I have to give Justin Bieber a seven for taking accountability for appropriation of the black culture. Justin Bieber needed black people to teach him how to be down. He built his career and his character off of black culture growing up. He recently went on Twitter and said what people like Justin Timberlake and the list goes on, okay, 
are afraid to say. The infatuation with black culture by white people have historically been here for centuries. These girls like Kylie Jenner, Bad Baby, Woa Vicky, I can't think of anybody else right now, but they benefit off of black women's culture. It's a lot of people who want to be black, but they don't want that chocolate skin color so they could still be able to use their Karen or Billy card when necessary. There are so many people in this world who are wanting to change their skin color because they don't want to be identified as black. These girls want this light skin, black girl type of look so bad because that's what rappers rap about nowadays. You are not good enough unless you look a certain way. And that's not okay to believe that about yourself. It has gotten out of control to the point where these white girls started black fishing and tanning in their videos and wearing lace fronts to look like a light skinned black girl. But colorism is happening all around the world. For example, if you call a Puerto Rican person a Dominican, they might will cuss you out in Spanish because Dominicans are darker complexion. They're right next to Haiti, literally. So they don't want to be considered a Dominican, even though they speak the same language. Or in China, they change their skin color to be more fair, to be more white. Or if you call a mixed person black, they might get offended. But it falls back on the parenting that teaches the ignorance, okay? Black skin is a target for talent, for motherhood skills, for organs, for fault or blame. It's easy to blame something on a black person, okay? Also for testing. Example, they test everything on the Africans, Ebola, AIDS, the vaccines. <laughs> I mean, everything. They take, take, take from our skills and then treat us like trash. Listen, ladies, as a collective of black women, we are all beautiful, okay? No matter what shade you are, we need to begin to feel deserving of and demand better. We have the ability to change the world. Black women are the trendsetters. We are the vanguard to leading all race, age, and gender, okay, to change. Black women will always be the new cool, okay? Don't you ever forget that. I pray that every little girl out there that's chocolate love themselves, okay? Don't let anybody change who you are. There are beautiful black chocolate women out there. I hate it when I hear people say, oh, black women are ugly. Don't listen to that, okay? Don't listen to, oh, black girls have to wear a weave and things like that and it's ghetto and ratchet. No, we're not. Don't listen to what statistic and people of ignorance say. Golden skin woman right here in front of you. My hair is real. My teeth are real. My lashes are real. My butt is real. Everything about me is real. My titties are real. Okay? Like, I'm not a fake woman. Nothing on me is fake. So, I love every part of me and I would not want to change that. So, alright you guys. I hope you like, comment, subscribe and... Your girl is out. Bye. Yeah, I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me.